Hello, Katie here. Today I want to talk to you guys about best practices for applying concealer. Now this is something new that I've kind of gotten into. I mean I've been using concealer my whole life but these tips and tricks have really helped to kind of bring my makeup game up a little bit and um, just make a lot more of my features stand out by doing it this way and hiding a lot more this way as well. So I will be using the Mineral Skin um, Perfecting Touch Concealer. It is really, really awesome. I love this because a little bit goes a very long way. <clears throat> now I've already done uh, most of my makeup. So I've primed. Let's talk about that, the Flawless 4. I have primed. I have put on my liquid foundation with my liquid foundation brush. And now I'm going to use the four step, which is the concealer. Um, you know, a lot of times I have kind of like these blue circles under my eyes that need to get hidden. I have some extra redness. I do a lot of that. And I also get breakouts, which right now I'm pretty fortunate that I don't have any. Um, <clears throat> but this can all be used to do this. So as you noticed, I already have my foundation done. You want to apply your concealer after you've put on your foundation. And you also want a concealer that's one to two shades lighter than your normal makeup. So, and a little bit goes a long, long way. So here we go. I'm just gonna squeeze out that little bit. And I'm gonna work to hide my under eye circles right now. Working the night shift kind of left me a little bit tired. <laughs> Gotta kind of brighten those up and um, hide them a bit. I will also be using the concealer brush. So you take just this little bit, put a little bit on, and we're gonna just dab underneath here okay and this dabbing motion is what really helps now instead of just swiping up and kind of creating that half moon under my eye I'm gonna bring it down a little bit okay we're gonna create kind of that triangle and especially if you're looking to um, do a highlight and contour look this really helps kind of with that notice I'm just kind of dabbing because if you swipe too much, it can kind of um, thin out the product a little bit. But this provides such great coverage. And then, like I said, just in that triangle motion. Alright, one side done. We'll do the other here, same thing. Kind of dabbing and I love how this covers up those circles and kind of brightens that area to hide that kind of blue under eye circle sleep deprived look it makes me look a little more awake all right so there we go that's how you apply the concealer you can do the same thing with like spot areas so Let's say I wanted to kind of get rid of some of this redness around my nose. Same thing. Just kind of dab in those areas. And voila. Now, if you're going for a highlighting and contouring look, you can just kind of, um, you know, work with this as far as the powders and everything. I am not doing a highlight and contour today, so I'm gonna use just a little bit of my pressed powder. I'm going to take this and just gently kind of pat over those areas to blend. All right. And there you have it. No more under eye circles. Woohoo! I look awake. <laughs> All right. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you message me. I'd be happy to answer them. Comment below here. And have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.